Yeah, welcome to Calvary Chapel Modesto. Yeah, I am so excited to, that we were able to host Blood Good. I know, give it up, yeah. So a couple things real quick. They have a hashtag. It is hashtag Blood Good Band. Now, the band encourages you to take pictures, videos, Add, had, had the hashtag Blood Good Band and post it all over your social media and enjoy this experience with them tonight. So that's one thing. We're going to do that, right? We, are you with me on that one? Are you with me? All right, all right. In fact, let's, let's, let's make this happen already. So, so take out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to get a quick right now. post that later. So remember, hashtag blood good band. couple things real quick. The restrooms are to my right. That is to your left if you need to go out and use them. I got a couple of fun facts, but you guys probably know them way better than I do, but I, I got to learn these today. Uh, they're in the Christian Music Hall of Fame. You know that, right? Yeah. Yes. The only metal band in the Christian Music Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah. Incredibly instrumental, empowering Christian metal music, right? Give it up, right? Now, this is dear to me. Although I wasn't at Calvary Chapel then, but Calvary Chapel Modesto were one of the first ones to host them when they became a band. Yeah, we're talking 34 years ago. Some more interesting fun facts. Their production crew, the same production crew since then, and they attended Calvary Chapel of Modesto back then, and the senior pastor were, and, the, and the, the congregation were praying for them as they were going out on tour. That's absolutely incredible. And if you are one of those fans that has the first edition, first album, our senior pastor did the write up on the back. Yes, yes. And then one, one last fun fact that you probably might not know, but you might, that Michael Bloodgood is a senior pastor of Calvary Chapel Redmond. Yeah, these men have walked with the Lord for decades. They love the Lord, and they, they, they bring glory to the Lord through their music, and that's absolutely incredible. Just to let you know, you guys seen it already. I've seen you with the T-shirts, but they have merch out in the back for you, T-shirts, CDs, vinyl. And they have a, a, a show tomorrow night where you can get tickets for that show where the movie Trenches of Rock will be premiering and the band will be performing. And you can buy tickets out there for that tonight. So remember the hashtag, hashtag Blood Good Band. And to let you know, the band will be out in just a minute.
Thank you. you guys already. Uh, do you love us? Well, we love you. They will know us by our love for each other. That's a, that's a quote from a very famous guy. Uh, the lamb, the lamb of God.
to be here in Modesto. They gave you a little history lesson, right? Yeah. Well, we're still, we're not history yet. We're still, we're still going. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. This is off the Dangerously Close album. Anybody got that? Okay. Because we have some out there if you want to give them away as gifts <laughs> to your non-believers. <laughs> To your non-believing friends, listen to this. Come on, let's hope it's about Jesus, dude. It's called Run Away. Run away, the wise man said Run away and hide, hide. 
I shouldn't be here. Oh God, help me. Give me strength to leave this place. What was I thinking? This is wrong. This is wrong. 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 Jeremy came and said he's going to put the air conditioning on us, and I, he did. Thanks, Jeremy, because it's hot up here.
is right
deserve the things you ask I wash my hands of this man's blood Hey, I'm king of the Jews Prophesy, who hits you? Oh, I so this man is inciting a rebellion. No one here can prove that to be true. Crucify! Crucify! He's your king! Crucify! Why? Crucify! Why? Crucify! Why? I have the power to free him! He's not my king! He's your king! Kill him! I wash my hands of this man's blood. Kill him, Pilate. He's done nothing. All right. All right. I wash my hands of this man's blood. Imagine, it's the morning of the crucifixion, and you are there. Outside the city walls, the sun warms you as you follow to the place where the Romans like to kill our people. It's a, it's a little hill. It looks like a human skull. It's called Golgotha. When you get there, Jesus is with two thieves. And the Romans, they crucify them first. <laughs> they resist and they scream like mutilated animals. And then, on the ground between them, Jesus lays himself on the cross. He offers his hands and his feet. And you remember he said, no man takes my life, but I lay it down with myself. Iron spikes, falling hammers, blood spurting up from wrists and ankles. Oh God, they raise the cross and the full weight of his body falls across his flowing wounds. And still, he does not cry out. A Roman soldier takes a ladder, tacks a sign above Jesus' head. Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. The Roman governor has made a joke. The angry Pharisees push past. Take down that sign. He's not our king. Roman soldiers take their spears and push them back. We have our orders. It stays And so, in mockery 
and in jest. He is first introduced to the nations. God sends his son to us. What did we do? We whipped him. We beat him. We nailed him to a cross. This cloud.
firstborn from the dead The ruler of the kings of all the earth The one who loves us and has freed us from our sins His blood has washed us clean And now he's coming So shall it be really loud in my headset here and turn the guitar just a little bit down but everything else is beautiful and the crowd is really loud in here that's nice mm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know it's a good thing that we do it's a good thing that God tells us to do and we should do it we should always do it as a matter of fact it says that we should always do it without ceasing we should always Pray, always. When you awake, the day begins. Bring to God, confess. 
We have a job, you know, we do have a job down here. This is for believers. Uh, you know, for non-believers, uh, you know, your job is to get saved. <laughs> Actually, for non-believers, your entire reason that you exist is to be saved. You were created by God. You were lovingly formed in your mother's womb by the creator himself, each and every single one of us. Each of us are made in the image of God. We are precious in his sight. And even if you don't know him, your only purpose is to praise your God and to know your God. And then he wants you to be everything he's given you, all the gifts he's given you, whether they be in, you know, whatever they may be. In our case, you know, carpentry. No, not really. Singing, playing, that kind of thing. But whatever gifts that you have, he gave them to you. And with him, you can do things that are beyond belief. So while we're here, you know, we really are. We're kind of digging, digging down deep, representing God. They know us by our love for one another. So we got to get in the trenches. Taking up the ground, let her run around, but she's better now. Never want to tell, got her on the word that she needs to say. In the churches How you gonna go? How you gonna learn? How you gonna go? How you gonna go? 
way you feel In the churches In the churches to each other. Who's going to give the next cue? Uh, so me. Uh, I can't even see the set list. What's up with this? Oh, give me my glasses, somebody. Yes, it's called You Forgot. No, I mean, no, not I Forgot. You Lose from the first album. <laughs> You take the raw about the things you do. 
A lot of people out here. Yeah, I see them. Some of them need Jesus. All of them need Jesus. Yes. So you're asking me? Well, here's the deal. What? We live in a time of political turmoil. We think we're going to change the world if we change the vote. You know what's going to change the world? Tell them, Jesus. Jesus. He's the only answer for the world today. But tonight, if you're here and you don't know him, this is your day of salvation. It's the day that God is calling you into his kingdom. Don't wait. We don't know how long we have. Some of us, we've got a friend. She's 101. I've lost friends a lot younger than me. So don't ever treat the salvation of God lightly. Because what do they need less? They need Jesus. Indeed, Jesus, yeah. Indeed, Jesus.
Michael Fayan on drums. Michael Fayan, let's hear it. Too. You know, we so enjoyed it. You know, it was beautiful. You guys are awesome. Michael's great, isn't he? A great player. Come on now, the rhythm. I mean, I'm telling you, flashy and everything, plus all the stuff. You guys are awesome. Who's awesome out there? Who's awesome? God's awesome. Who's awesome? His people are awesome. Yeah. His His people coming in the kingdom tonight. Anybody coming in the kingdom? Anybody coming in the kingdom tonight? That'd be a good idea. Yeah, you know, because we have, uh, there really is, you guys ever heard of Satan? Yeah, you know he does, but you know what, he's real. He actually was an angel. He's a fallen angel, he rebelled against God, and that's true. And he actually is still, actually we gave him the earth. <laughs> Adam and Eve gave it back to him. There you go. They had the right to give it away, right? They did, they had the right. God said, this is yours, it's all yours. It's all yours. Just don't eat of that tree there. Don't do that. And, well, you know, that human thing in us, we actually gave it back. So he is the ruler of the air. He is the ruler of the airways. Now, he's not going to win, but he hates God, and he wants to take as many of God's beautiful creations to hell with him. He does. So, you know, he, we just think he's just a black snake. Satan is the ruler of the air, the prince, but there is one that is greater, the strong man that is stolen, broken into his house, and he wants to steal you tonight if you're not a believer. All you have to say is, Jesus, come into my life, forgive me my sins, make me one with you, and God will take your unrighteousness and deposit his son's righteousness right into your bank account, because without Jesus, you are bankrupt. And you'll sing with us, greater is he that's in me, that's Jesus, than he that is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Everybody! He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in me is greater than
Don't forget to say your prayers. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, man. You are awesome. There's a lot of great ministries in here. I know you guys down here, you biker guys got this great ministry in town. What is that? It's about you get the homeless people, you help them out. Come on, that's what Jesus said. Take, the, you know, what you do to the least, you do to me directly. That's what you're doing, brothers. Thank you, brother and sister. Thank you, all you, all you people that serve God in that way. You know, one thing that's really amazing is that God really just wants relationship with each and every one of us. He really does, and he wants it to be personal. He doesn't want us to go air our laundry or anything to anybody but him. He wants us to do things that people don't see because he sees everything we do. And you know what? You really benefit when you leave it right there. No matter how cool you are and how much you give and everything else, if you start waving your flag, guess what? You get your reward right there. People patting you on the back. Dude, you're a nice guy, man. You're very generous, you know, all that. And that's good. There's nothing wrong, except that if you do it in secret, the Heavenly Father sees it, you don't say anything about it, then he has rewards. And they're much greater. Much greater. And I mean greater in the sense that they're good things. It's not always money and things. That you, it could be just relationships. The depth of love that we have for each other. Friends, friends that you get excited to see. You can't do that in the world. You're too busy trying to figure out if everything's just right. Am I going to make it? I wasn't born with the right hair. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know all the stuff we struggle with. Poor babies. Jesus loves us. He loves us, and he loves you so much. You know, once, a long time ago, I got saved. Not really long ago. I mean, it's only been, what, 35 years? <laughs> but uh, it's good because I read the Bible at least once. Actually, I read it more than that because there's life. We went to Russia, and we were giving out Bibles just after the wall came down. We were in Russia. R religion, Christianity was against the law until that wall came down in Berlin, and we were given blood good. We are out there. We were giving away Bibles, Russian Bibles, and one Russian soldier said to me, oh, that's the book that when you read it, it comes alive. And once you know him, that you've met the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, you will never be the same. Pick me up, help me through the night. Lord, gonna lean on you. Wow. 
Check one, two. Here we go. Wow, we thank you for coming out. What a great show. Give it up for Blood Gang. My first Blood Gang concert. Yes. I loved it. What Les and what Michael were talking about, needing to be saved, needing Jesus. If you stand in this room and you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I am here to pray with you and walk you through and lead you in that so you can come and know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I'll be up front. Come and talk to me. My name is Haji. Have a blessed night. Let me pray for you before you go. Father, we thank you. We thank you for tonight. We just give you glory singing about your son and what he has done for us, how he came and died on the cross and was raised again on the third day and now he sits at your right hand and makes intercession for us and now we can live this life in the power of your Holy Spirit walking and living and loving and extending your love to others in this world and we thank you 
just for the ministry of music, being able to come and sing about you and sing to you and to just to, to worship you in, in this music that we can relate to. And so we just give you glory for that, Lord. Just go before everybody that was here that drove so many miles, Lord. Protect them on the road. And we just thank you for them. Thank you for uh, the band, Lord. Just be with them. Bless them. Go before them as they head out for Versailles and go down there and just give you glory for tonight. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.